guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pretty long talk through tutorial on this look right here. This video is pretty much a first impressions on every new product that I've, well not every single new product that I've gotten, but for the most part every single new product that I've gotten. Um, so I try like a different foundation, a different primer, things like that. I think you guys get the gist of it. I'm pretty sure this video is going to be pretty long, so I would say go run and get a snack, like now. Do you guys kind of get a gist of the how I feel about like new products that I've gotten? Um, so if I don't like it, if I feel like iffy about it, if I do like it. I'm not going to make this video any longer than it already is, so if you want to learn how I got this look, then keep on watching. Mwah. The first thing I'm starting off with, since this is a kind of like first impressions, not really first, Im yeah, first impressions video of me trying like all different things and new things that I've bought within this month, I'm going to be trying the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I feel like everyone, excuse me, I'm getting like super sick so my throat <clears throat> really hurts and I feel like I'm straining it. Um... I feel like everyone, their mother, their grandma, their brother, their dog has been talking about this. And I just picked it up yesterday because all of my friends seem to be getting them or getting this. And my mom got it and I was like, shit, I need one. And I need to try it ASAP. So I bought it and I'm going to test it out. I haven't tried it. Um, it does smell like men and I really like that. So I'm just going to take about that much. This looks really inappropriate. It's going to kind of add it in like a moisturizer. And I hear that you're supposed to apply it until your face gets tacky. Um, oh my god, it smells like men. So good. I don't know if you're supposed to rub or... I'm going to be applying this new foundation that I just picked up. This is the Laura Mercier Candlelight Soft Luminous Foundation. I picked up mine in the shade Suntan. I'm not sure if this is going to match my face. Um, I think it is because I like... Whoa, whoa. I swatched this in store and it seemed like the perfect match, but I didn't actually like try it on my face. So I'm praying to Lord Jesus Christ that this works. I'm just going to pump it the back of my hand that was like two pumps um and oh no i just squirted it in the model no why did i just do that i really like this packaging it's like a frosted glass packaging i don't know i really really love this and then i'm gonna take my beauty blender and kind of like dot this everywhere it's really runny um it's supposedly not supposed to be like a full coverage foundation um just like really light natural luminous dewy looking um which i don't mind usually i go for like medium to more full coverage but i don't know just gonna try something a little bit different i'm just going to pounce this um it seems like a pretty good match um actually i don't know it might be too like orange it might be. Hmm. And this is my first time trying it, and I'm actually not crazy about it. Hmm. This actually might go back to the store, because I'm not liking this. And it kind of looks too orange. The pump doesn't pump out that much, to be honest. Um, I feel like I just pumped like four times because I did pump four, like four times. Um, it doesn't disperse much and I don't feel like I'm getting anything on my face. And it doesn't have to do with the coverage. It's not the coverage that's bothering me. It's that it looks patchy. And as much as I'm blending this, it just doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, and I really don't feel like this is my shade. I don't know. I feel like I'm going so wrong already. Well, I guess we can just leave it like that. And I'll see how I like it. Keep you guys updated. I just feel like I don't match. Like, do I look like a Oompa Loompa right now. I'm going to check on my iPhone camera. Because it could just be me and I'm, like, going crazy right now. No. Just, like, does not match me. Um, I would say this is more, like, my summer shade, probably. And... 
I think I'm tanner than what I actually am. I'm going to correct my under eye circles using my Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector. Nothing new, you guys know how much I love this. And actually, I swatched the NYX. The NYX Corrector comes in like a, a jar and it's basically the same thing. I swatched it and it felt so much creamier than this one. So I think I want to pick that one up next. I didn't get it then because like they only had the tester on and they didn't have the actual product in stock. So I couldn't get it. But since I'm running pretty low on this, I think that will probably be the next corrector that I pick up. I also want to try the LA Girl one. But I'm not a fan of their, um, what's it called? Like their, the formula in the tube, I don't like it at all. I've tried the concealers for like highlighting my under eye and I absolutely hated it. I feel like no one talks about how chunky and watery their formula is. It's just so weird and so off for me. It honestly looks so disgusting so I don't like it but I will try the corrector shades because I hear that they're pretty good. Concealer, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, I am running super low on this so I do need to pick up another one. Another one. This highlight so like dab that in dab it on this side um, I really want to pick up the makeup forever concealer but when I went into the store to like see which one would be my shade I did not like their shade selection at all I feel like the one that I would use to highlight has a little bit way too much pink for me had too much pink in it um but it was like a really nice light shade just too pink and then the next one up that was yellow wasn't really like a highlighting shade it kind of felt like it was my skin tone shade um and the lady that helped me in Sephora did say that they're coming out with newer shades so I think I'm just gonna hold off on that and not get it yet using my Ben Nye luxury powder in banana to set my under eye nothing new how would you guys feel about me doing the no mirror makeup challenge video I feel like everyone is doing it and it looks so funny to be honest like every single one that I've watched is so funny and I feel like I'm kind of stupid like I don't not that I'm stupid but like I would not know what I'm doing to my face without a mirror like I'm always looking into a mirror um, so I think it would just be like a funny video to film. Um, and I haven't done anything like that on my channel. So let me know if you guys would want to see something like that. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation. Another obsession. I feel like I just can't over, I can't get over it, this powder. It's so good. Um, I love it. I'll bring that onto my neck. And literally just set everything. That way nothing moves throughout the day or I don't get oily as much. For my brows, I'm going to be trying the new Anastasia Brow Definer. I like this rose gold looking packaging. Um, I did try this and I liked it the first... Well, I didn't try it the first time. Some lady at Sephora that was helping me, she tried it on my brows and I loved it. Um, and I got mine in the regular shade medium brown. I feel like the these are not like the normal browish shades. They say that they are, but I feel like they're so much darker. Probably because the pencil is just a lot thicker. Um, so it dispenses like way more product. But what I like about it is that you can make like different strokes. Like you can make thin ones. You can make really thick ones, really sharp ones. I don't know. It's it's pretty cool my brows come out a lot more like harsh when I use this um, I just feel like I have to get used to this but I do I like it I'm not crazy about it but I like it um, and the actual pencil itself is a lot fatter I'm going to show you guys a comparison right now. This is the Brow Wiz and then this is the Brow Definer. So it's a lot, it's the same size, I would say, yeah, it's like the same size, it's just a lot fatter or thicker. Alright, 
So there goes one brow. And I like it. I don't think it looks bad at all. Just definitely a lot more like boom out there. Um, where the brow is, I feel like is a lot more like natural looking. There goes my brows. Not sure how I feel about it. I still have to play around with this pencil and tell you guys how I like it. I'm not like head over heels for it right now I do feel like I like the brow is a lot more but I do have to keep playing with it because I feel like once you get the hang of it it becomes a hell of a lot easier to actually apply it to your brows and know how to stroke it in the right way I think I'm gonna start on eyes and of course I'm gonna be using my Becca Evermatt Poreless Priming Perfector. I can never fully get the name of this. This is just a matte primer. You can use this on your face, anywhere you'd like. But I like to use it on my eyeballs because I am one oily bitch. And my eyelids just, they crease and get oily so fast throughout the day. So I feel like this really helps me. For the base, I'm going to be using the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. This is also new to me. I have not tried this. This kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion thing. The original formula. Um, I'm not crazy about either one, the Jessie's Girl or the Urban Decay Primer Potion. But, you know, for the heck of this video, I'm just going... To apply it I'm thinking to do either the Visart or the Morphe how about we do both okay this is, oh, I just dropped my powder. start off with the Visart and I'm gonna take this nude shade actually this is the Visart 01 neutral matte palette um, this is like the favorite one that everyone talks about I'm gonna take these two nude shades and just set my lids. The VX90 Royal and Lang Nickel brush. This actually came in my BoxyCharm and I am in love with these brushes. They are such good quality and I think they're pretty affor affordable. Affordable. They're affordable. To my brow bone also just because I really like this shade. Um, it's a very nice like matted out neutral shade. Crease, I'm going to be taking this other Visar palette. This is the 04 dark matte and I have not played with this one. I'm going to use, hmm, I think I'm going to start off with this brown shade here and add that to my crease. I really wish that these Visart ones had mirrors because that would just make my life a hell of a lot easier. Um, but I do really like these shadows. They're super blendable and just easy to apply, easy to work with. I love them. Um, do I think that they're worth $80? I don't really know. It kind of, it is a lot to shell out for a palette that only has like, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, like 12 shades. I think, yeah, 12 shades. Um, but I do really like them. I feel like my eyebrows are so freaking harsh, but whatever. And then I'm going to go back into the dark matte palette and take these two shades I don't know what the heck I'm doing I'm just picking out shades here I don't know I dirty my pants and what I'm going to do is kind of add this into the outer corner here and also into the crease I'm sorry if I'm covering I really like these shades ooh yeah I'm digging that. I feel like I should have put tape or something under. Whatever. And I don't find that I get fallout with these shadows at all, actually. Um, what is going on? I feel like my eyeshadow is so messy. I don't mind if this gets on the lid because we're not really doing anything like super special and I don't know where I'm going with this so I'm going with the flow of the brush <laughs> to be honest. I'm going to use my Morphe 12S. Is this a yeah, the 12S palette. 
is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I also haven't played around with this. I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This is the brush that comes in the Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. I'm not sure which shade I actually want to use here. I feel like one of these neutrals because I like neutrals. Um, I'm thinking, you know what, what if I do a mixture of all of them because you, just whatever. I'm, I'm gonna dig in all of them. You guys can use whatever champagne frosty shadow you have and, oh yes, hunty. I'm gonna add that to my lid. I'm not sure if I want to bring this all the way out. I might just keep it in like that inner half. Ooh, yes, me liking. And what I like about these Morphe shadows is that they're so freaking pigmented. Like, I didn't even need to put a glitter base or anything or a glitter glue. I usually do use a glitter glue, but I'm not reaching for it today. Um, and they're so affordable. Like, this 12S one I think is about 13 bucks. So really inexpensive, and I love it. I love the quality of these. To my inner corners here. I'm gonna use my Night Owl Made You Look Precision Eyeliner Pen. This is by Lexi. If you guys don't have her, I'm pretty sure you do. This is Made You Look here on YouTube. She does like um, really awesome tutorials, and she does have her own makeup line. I think it's like brushes, eyeliner, and I think that's about it. So I'm just going to use this and create a little wing here. This is my first time using this. Also, it's very new to me. Uh, I do like it. Look at a look. Oh my god, my face feels really tacky and dewy right now. I'm not sure if I like that. I'm also not the biggest fan of pens. I feel like I just said that really weird. I mean pens, like eyeliner pens. They're definitely not my favorite. I prefer gel any day, but it's new. And I was like, you know what, let me just use it. Because whatever. What is going on with this liner today? For lashes, I'm going to be using my favorites at the moment. And these are the Violet Boss Vamptress Lashes. Absolutely. I think these are like my all-time favorite lashes. Just like ever. Hands down, I feel like they fit my eyes so perfectly, they're comfortable, they're so wispy, so long. I don't know, they're so gorgeous. I'm gonna apply these off camera so I can get like really close to my mirror. And yeah, I'll be right back. Hello, my lash line. I'm gonna be using the Visar 04 Dark Matter palette again. I'm gonna use the warmer shades that I was using. And I'm gonna pop that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna just run this on my lower lash line. Make it pretty smoky. I want to pop some black in here, so I'm going to take the first Visar palette. Looks like this, and I'm going to take this black shade. I hope that this is really pigmented and, like, really black. Um, I haven't tried it, so... Ooh, it is. Yes. So, to intensify the black that I have going on on my lower lash line, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the black shade. I'm just going to add that to my waterline. I'm going to start to contour and bronze up my face. So for that, I'm using this new palette that I got that actually my friend Priscilla and Alexis put me onto, but Priscilla actually bought it for me. This is the LA Colors. I love makeup contour palette it brings eight different shades so it's like a highlight and this highlight is actually really pretty um, it's not like the greatest highlight ever but it's alright um, then you have three under eye highlighting powders and then you have wait actually you have four highlighting under eye powders and then you have three bronzing and contour shades 
Um, they say that they really like this because it's like super buttery. I have like swatched it and it is so buttery swatch, but I've never actually tried it on my face. So I'm going to do that and this palette is actually really cheap. It's $8 so it's practically like you're paying a dollar for each and every shade in here. I'm actually going to mix these two shades in here. I'm using my MAC 109 brush. I don't want to pick up too much product because I'm not sure if this is like extremely pigmented on the face. So I'm going to bron- whoa. Yeah, that is. I'm going to bronze up my temples here, bring it on to my forehead. Wow, I really like these powders. Oh my god, yes, girl. I feel like I put way too much here, so I'm going to try to tone that down. Or maybe just put more on the other side. Yeah, let's just do that. And then to contour my cheeks using the same two shades. Holy crap. I'm going to actually clean this up with some powder. I really, really like these powders. Holy crap. Yes. My two senses on these palette, or this palette, um, I really like this. Um, I definitely feel like you guys should pick it up just because they are really buttery and so soft. I like these more than the Anastasia ones, to be honest, because you guys know I'm not a fan at all of the Anastasia. So this is 100 times better and way cheaper blush i'm gonna be using this one by wet and wild it's new and this is the fergie one Ooh, what is this called oh this is the a 158 brush with destiny I, i'm not sure if that's what it's actually called i have tried this before and i do really like it it's just very powdery i don't know if you can see that but it's very powdery okay yeah, I'm so obsessed with that LA Colors. It's so blendable and like effortless. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Um, so this Fergie blush, or this Wet n Wild blush, it's very... It reminds me of Orgasm just a little bit. It's pink, but I love how neutral and luminous it is. I don't know. Can you even see it? Not sure. And I'm not a fan of pink blushes, but I love, love, love this one. For highlight, I'm going to be using this new one I got. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Glowing Gardens Illuminating Powder. I got mine in 002. Whoa! Glowing Nude. The packaging is everything, I swear. Look at it. So ah, cute. So this is the highlight, and it comes with, like, a little brush. I'm only going to use the highlight and it comes with like a little pouch too. It's so cute. I just picked up the Morphe M310 brush. I feel like everyone loves this brush for highlight. Um, so I'm going to use this with this highlight. This is what the highlight looks like. It's so pretty. Um, and I'm going to add this to the tops of my cheeks. Oh, yes. Yes, girl. I do really like this brush. Um, do I feel like it's crazy? Mm. Mm. No. I don't feel like it's crazy, crazy good. Like everyone says. It's alright. It is a little bit scratchy. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little scratchy. Um, it's not, I thought it was like super soft and easy to blend everything. It is a little bit scratchy. But I do like the way it dispenses the highlight. Um, I'm going to add this to the bridge of my nose. Keep its bow. And the forehead just a little bit. Whoa, look at that glow. Yes, girl. A <clears throat> lipstick out of the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip Kit. 
I'm obsessed with this thing. I swear to God, if you guys see this, don't even debate on getting it or not. Just get it. It's so freaking amazing. It comes with this full-size NARS lipstick, and the entire kit is 28 bucks. What you pay for a NARS lipstick full-size is what you end up paying for all these products. <clears throat> so it comes with a NARS lipstick, the Laura Mercier lipstick, a Tardiste or Tardis lip paint. <clears throat> My voice. This Nude Sticks Whisper Lip and Cheek Pencil, which I already own. I, I completely forgot I owned it. And this Marc Jacobs Lip Liner and Primrose. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs lip liner and this Tardist or Tartiste lip paint in Namaste. Namaste? Na yes, Namaste. I'm not sure if the Tarte is too nude, but yo, this lip liner is everything. It kind of reminds me of the color of Stila Patina, which y'all know is my favorite. Whoa. That is nude. And I'm not sure if I like this shade right now. No. I'm actually just going to use this NARS lipstick in Dolce Vita. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this shade a hell of a lot more. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, I have that scrolled a little bit too high there. I like the formula too a lot. I'm going to be using this new MAC lips, uh, lip gloss or lip glass that I got. And this is in the shade Spite. I haven't tried it yet, but the color just looks so gorgeous. Ooh, yes, hunty. I haven't done a glossy lip in a really long time. So, yeah. Mm, I really like this shade a lot. It's like a muted grayish purple. Totally forgot my lower lashes. I have abandoned you. So this is the completed look. 